questions and uh, and get those answers through to you. Uh, we're also going to be placing the webinars online, so if you do have a call or something comes up, uh, don't worry, we're going to record these and we'll put them on our YouTube channel, uh, which is youtube.com slash Specialist. So with that being said, I'm now going to hand over to a fantastic uh, new product, which we're really excited about, a, a luxury product called Kangaroo Island Sailing. And we've got Renee and Ashley Newman on the line with, uh, with our fantastic Marketing Executive Matt Guy. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, John. So, Renee and Ashley, welcome. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. So, so I'm basically going to ask six, uh, six questions in 10 minutes, so it's a uh, pretty quick pace, but I know you've got some fantastic images to, uh, to show all the consultants across Canada and the US. So why don't you start off with explaining what, uh, what you offer and what makes it unique? I guess the first thing is we're offering luxury sailing on board a 21 metre classic yacht, so quite a large catch, it's something that hasn't been done here in South Australia before. As you can see by the images, the boat is actually quite magnificent, magnificent in her style and her actual size. Uh, John, so we actually have three products that we put on offer. The first one is a twilight sail, so that's a two hour sail going up and down the Fluro Peninsula. We have a day sail, which is a seven hour sail. Then probably our most exclusive is a three-day kangaroo island adventure, which involves a tour with exceptional KI, which we'll go into a bit further in detail. And then our pro probably the um, sorry, going back to these our the twilight to give you an idea of what the boat looks like. That's 12 people on board, so you can see there's plenty of space. Beautiful. And uh, how do you access your um, your experience or product from Adelaide? So out of Adelaide, it's a 75-minute self-drive, or you can take a luxury transfer down to the yacht itself. And we've also got prices on our rate sheet for three to four passengers, four to six and above, to make it nice and easy for our agents. Yep, easy. And uh, the transfer is available, so people are flying straight into Adelaide Airport. You can uh, get into the car, and how long does it take to get down to, uh, to where the, the boat docks? Approximately 75 minutes. It's a nice scenic drive minutes. along these Fleurio coastal hills. Fantastic. For those of you on the line who have driven through that part of the world, we're talking about uh, the McLaren Vale region, um, actually my favourite fine wine region, if I can say that. I sound like I've had a couple of wines already. But uh, it is a very, very scenic part of the world, um, very, very pretty. So the third question I've got for you is what's the most surprising element of, uh, of your experience that the clients have talked about so far? As we are a new product, I've uh, gone to our, our recent media for Mills and our mentor relationship with Craig Wickham from Exceptional KI. And uh, Craig, Craig indicates that our level of sophistication and the quality of service that comes from our business and considering we are such a young, co young couple is very, very surprising. Uh, we've had comments that the boat is very homely and very comfortable to the fact that people don't want to get off and enjoy being on board so much. The sailing is very, very pleasant, um, but most of all is the way we look after our customers. And I know uh, you've got a bit of a background story as well, which might be interesting to cover on how, you, uh, how you've ended back in South Australia and your previous travels that have given you that experience with, with luxury clientele. Ashley and I actually worked overseas in uh, the Bahamas and also in the Caribbean and the Lower Mediterranean and we uh, worked on mega yachts, so ma uh, massive power boats. But after that we actually bought a sailing boat in Spain, like you said John, and we sailed it from Spain back to Australia to set up for this business to make sure we had the right boat for the business we intended. So that was 10 months at sea. Awesome. And Perhaps uh, maybe if you could talk in a little bit more detail about um, specifically the three-day program or the itinerary. Sure. The three-day project um, program is probably going to be our international highlight. What we're trying to do is captivate mo the most of South Australia in three days. So that includes actually sailing on board the boat along this Fluio coastline here for a full day. We have a chef on board. So you're getting morning tea, lunch, afternoon tea, 
three course meals, cocktails, and then also accommodation on board the boat. Then you arrive at Kangaroo Island, and in the morning you spend the day with Craig. So you have a full day touring with um, exceptional Kangaroo Island before returning to a ship in the evening for a, uh, a silver service dinner. And then the third day, sailing back along the Kangaroo Island coastline, returning to Adelaide. Fantastic. And did you want to speak about the uh, the day tour as well? Yeah, uh, the day tour. So this just gives you an example of what our kitchen looks like. So you can see that we can provide from canapes right up to uh, three course meals in these kitchens. So we actually have a chef that comes on board for our day sales. So you sail along the Fleurio coastline with a chef catering for your lunch. These are also what our bedrooms look like. So you have the opportunity to use the bedrooms throughout the day. Uh, on the day south as well as on trips. Excellent. The next question I've got, have you got a favourite image or photograph you'd like to share with the group? I think they're all my favourite photos, but <laughs> they, they, I guess the, new shoot the common theme that we're trying to show through our photographs is our dedication to service and making sailing um, approachable for both novice and enthusiast. So you can find something in our business and our products that will appeal to most markets. And everyone Just, should um, see uh, the happy couple on the screen. <laughs> Just before. Maybe we go back. There you are. <laughs> so as you can see, we um, we are professionals of what we do, so looking after safety and making sure people are comfortable is our first priority. Then after that, a glass, a full glass of champagne and full sales is always a good thing. Fantastic. And one thing we haven't covered that I know I spoke to you about when I was in Adelaide a couple of weeks ago is if people do want to have a hands-on experience, you can also cater for that. In regards to the sailing? Yeah, both yeah. Ashley and myself are sailing instructors. So with that, there is the, um, the element there to take on as much of the sailing skills as you'd like. So you can either sit back and uh, watch the movement in your glass, or you can actually put the sails up. And we're more than willing to hand over the steering wheel to get you guys, give you guys the opportunity to actually sail the boat and experience what it feels like to have 56 tonne of boat underneath your control. Fantastic. So that brings us to our last question uh, before we open it up to everyone. What way can you assist uh, participants today to promote or learn about your experience? Ideally we have images. So we, well, these images you've seen today are just a small handful of the images we have. And we'd like to make these accessible to our agents so they can then promote our business in the best possible way. We have um, multiple fact sheets, so like an autobiography on Ashley and myself, um, facts on the boat and also on our tours as well as media releases and then the rate sheets as well. And we are open to doing for meals as well. Fantastic and uh, we'll be following up with everyone who's on the call with those materials uh, as soon as possible. So we do have a few questions coming through uh, from Pat. Do you have a minimum for the three day tour? A minimum for all of our trips is two people. So we'd like to try and keep it open. Um, we'll go for a honeymoon couple, we'll go for two singles. We don't have a single supplement as well, it's just an individual uh, cost. Also you've got a question about uh, space for clients' excess luggage. Yeah, excess luggage is, uh, um, people are restricted to what they can bring. As you can see, the rooms are quite unique in their size and their um, style. So what we try and do when guests actually book on board, we tell them in advance the luggage requirements and limitations to give them as much time as possible to try and find alternative places for luggage. And then we will also help to assist in finding all pla um, places for bigger suitcases to be stored. Fantastic. I've also got a question. Uh, well, there's quite a few coming in here. How many cabins are there and are there set departure dates for the three-day sailing? There's four cabins. Each cabin comes with its own ensuite, so own shower and toilet. Um, with the Kangaroo Island trip to start with, we've got the first and uh, third Tuesday of every month the Kangaroo Island trip will leave 
Um, so there's set departure dates. However, we are flexible to go whenever there is a booking to go as well. Okay, there's also a couple of questions on seasonality. I understand it's operating year round. There's three months a year that we won't be operating due to the sun not being as shiny. Um, so that's generally J June, July and August, so the three months a year that we're not operating. Apart okay. from that, we're open all year round. Got it. Uh, there's also a question about just the, the coastline. This will be the last question. I know there's quite a few coming in, so apologies if we haven't, uh, if we haven't uh, got around to your question, but we'll make sure that uh, Renee and Ashley answer that uh, after the session. So uh, could you just talk a bit more about the, the spectacular coastline along the Fleur and also Kangaroo Island? Um, one of the, we had a journalist on board last week and he indicated, to give you a bit of an idea, the beaches along the coast of Kangaroo Island he thought he was in the Pacific Islands. So that remote and that picturesque. So the Kangaroo Island coastline is very different to that of the Fleurieu Peninsula. That's why we spend a day on each coastline. For example, the uh, Fleurieu has got the big, tall, rolling green hills with um, granity beaches, whereas Kangaroo Island has got more of an arid, sort of dry Australian look with the big, long, white beaches. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Renee and Ashley. And uh, Thanks, I know there's a, there's a few questions about um, availability with inbound operators and the wholesalers, and we'll make sure that we uh, we answer that uh, after the session. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, John. I'm now going to welcome Rob Coro from Desert Cave Hotel. How are you, Rob? Hey, good, John. So just while Matt's uh, changing the presentation slides, 